Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the ultimate trading webinar for beginners. My name is Daniel. I'll be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, I would like to go through a quick uh, sound check and visibility check that you can see the screen here. Uh, if you can please comment in the question section that the chart here is visible and you, that you can hear me, that could be great. Okay, good. More people to comment, please, in the question section so I will know later people are going to complain about the sound. Just comment that the sound is okay. Great. Okay. All right. Thank you, Charlie. Okay, so let, let's just begin. I'm going to explain what will happen in the webinar uh, in every step. And then, of course, if there are any questions, uh, feel free to paste them in the question section. Okay, so like I said, my name is Daniel. This is the Ultimate Trading Webinar for Beginners. We are going to begin with a quick introduction to AvaTrade, what we have in our website, the, the platforms, the services that we are offering. Second part will be uh, the majority of the webinar, maybe 80% of the webinar. And then on the second part, we'll speak about the basic fundamentals to to uh, uh, for trading okay so that will be a guide through regarding the platform what is sell what is buy the nice menu here on the side what it means the things that we have on it uh, and the logic behind certain things okay we'll explain about uh, margin and spread okay and on the last part we will if we'll have some spare time we'll have analysis analysis fundamental and technical analysis okay all right so before we will begin also okay it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for infer uh, informative purposes only it should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion okay i would like to say that this webinar is recorded so if somebody couldn't stay till the end uh, or just if you want to see this webinar again you can just go to our uh, channel on youtube and just see it again as many times as you want okay so i'm gonna go for 10 seconds to make sure that the webinar is indeed recorded and then we will begin i'll be right back and then uh, we'll begin thank you so much okay so everything seems ordinary I guess that we can uh, we can begin. Like I said, this is the ultimate trading webinar for beginners. My name is Danny, uh, and the platform that we're using now is called the Web Trader. Okay, so we're gonna officially begin. Uh, as many of you know, AvaTrade was born 2006. We now have nine license worldwide. Our customer service team is 24/6. Uh, they are accessible via the chat here at the bottom left or you can send an email to cs at avatrade.com that's their direct email um, or the whatsapp here whatever you prefer and they are gonna they can assist you with all customer service inquiries so that means questions about the account uh, documents, basically anything you can think of regarding customer service. And regarding the trading experience, we have somebody called a senior account manager that can be assigned on your file, and he's going to take care of the other side. So we have customer service for customer service, senior account manager to give you uh, the trading aspects. So that could be questions related analysis or regarding a trading plan or regarding um, anything that you can think of basically. Okay, regarding management of the account, what assets to trade and so on. Okay, so a tra a account manager can be reached after you activate the account, you made a deposit, then you can get the senior account manager assigned and you can ask him the things that I've mentioned a, a, a moment ago. Okay, so this is like I said, the web trader. We have several platforms. The web trader similarly uh, looks similarly on the app. 
which is Avago. Okay, to get to here, you need to uh, to log in with your email and password to the website. Okay, this interface doesn't require you to download anything. This is on the browser. When you log into the website, it, you, you should get to here. If you don't get to here, you can contact one of those individuals and uh, they will apply it on your account. Okay, but this is how it's supposed to look like this way. Um, the web trader usually present the whole screen. So the way that I pulled down is by clicking on the two tiny arrows to the right. Um, guys, I see a lot of people raising their hands. There is just no need to, to do that at this point. You can just write down the questions without to, to wait for anything, okay? And I will, of course, I will reply. There's no need to raise your hands or anything. Okay, um, so as I said, by default, this is how the platform should look, the web trader. To fold this down, you need to click on the two arrows and it falls down and you have a nice toggle here, which you can click and drag. Um, we have two other platforms, which is MT4 and MT5. There is, right now, we are not going to see MT4 and MT5, but you should know that you can trade them with us. Uh, we're gonna carry on with the web trader. Okay, but before that, I would like to mention another two platforms that we are offering. One of them is Ava Social, exactly as it sounds. It's a social media platform. It allows you to see on lists clients uh, to follow you can see what actions they take, what kind of risk money management they use. Practically everything they, that, that, that they do, you can see, okay? Furthermore, if you decide on a particular trader that you want to do more than just follow, you can really copy his actions. You can link your account to his account and then enjoy whatever results uh, they have, there's a question here, what's the difference between MT4 and MT5? I'll explain in a moment. I will explain in a moment. Um, so I have a social, as I said, this as a beginner, if, if I had it as a beginner, that would be heaven for me. Because if I can see how other uh, traders are trading and I'm gonna try something and I don't wanna jeopardize my own funds, I can see how somebody else is doing and then I can enjoy uh, have a social. Okay, you can download that for free, see how it goes. I think it could be very helpful uh, to get started with. And uh, Ava Options is also quite self-explanatory. We're not gonna expand too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's very innovative. It shows you the predictions and possibilities, uh, saving you the trouble to do that by yourself. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that then people be, become even more lazy, but it, it's very it's very worth trying. I can tell you that from other options, uh, platform options that I, I see, this is a very unique one. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna carry on with the web trader. Uh, first, let's, let's address the question that I'm gonna carry on. The question here by uh, Irina, uh, is what is the difference between MT4 and MT5? So guys, there is no major difference between MT4 and MT5. Uh, Function-wise, -wise, function maybe yes, maybe the way that you open positions and so on. So MT4, MT4 is a little more uh, straightforward, okay? It's an earlier version to MT5, naturally. But MT5 is a little more uh, manageable for people who diverse aggressively. So for instance, if I'm trading one till four or five assets, max, maybe even six assets, so MT4 might be my thing. MT5 is if I'll have 20 trades or or 30 trades going, and then uh, it's, it's a bit more convenient. But I wouldn't say that it has major difference. Um, by the way, by the way, even if I'm trading on MT4 
I can use the web trader. This is again the web trader. And even if I'm, I'm using the MT4, uh, the, the web trader, I can use MT5. So that means that I can do something on the app on MT4 or MT5, and then I'm going to see it here. I'm going to see it here in my, well, I don't have any positions opened, but um, if I would have, I would have seen it. Okay. And, and that's a very big benefit because you can trade on the app and still do it on MT4. It's important to know that the accounts are separated. Okay. MT4 has one account, MT5 another. Uh, never mind. It's rest is less relevant at this point okay i hope that i answered your question uh, Irina. of course of course of course with pleasure uh let's carry on so like i said this is the web trader we're going to carry on with it mt4 and mt5 are things that we're not going to see today on the webinar uh as i was saying i folded this down and i dragged this down just to make it a little more uh visible for everything and now I will explain a, a, on a product that we can only see on the web trader or the Avago. Okay, so for that, I'm going to pick um, silver. I really hope that I didn't show silver last time, but even if I did, it's not such a, a disaster. Maybe I did. You know what? Maybe I did. I think last time we had silver. Today we're going to diverse with gold. Okay, the way I've done it, I put it on the search, I click it from the list, right? Everybody saw that? Put it, click it from the list, then it's here. It's possible that it's not going to show the sidebar, the sidebar with the numbers. Um, for me, in order for me to make it appear, I must click sell or buy. Once I'm going to do that, it's going to open the sidebar, then I can pick what I want. Um, to my own personal opinion, I like it when it's all the way up, then I can see the chart. Okay, it's not mandatory. Everybody can do it the way they like. Uh, and now we will explain about AverProtect. So AverProtect is, like I said, a product that we can only find on Avago. This is why I'm going to separate it. Avago and the web trader. This is why I'm separating it from the rest of the platforms. Um, as, as it's written here, the idea of that product is to let you protect the position for a certain time frame. Watch, when I click it, it's going to let me choose what time frame I want. So I can expand from one hour up to, I keep on clicking, two days. Yeah, so that means I can be protected. Well, understand in a moment the meaning of that. Uh, I can be protected from one hour up to two days. Okay, so we're just gonna mention here on a nutshell, Ava Trade lets you protect the position for a certain time frame. Okay, and whatever you lost during the coverage, you will get back. Okay, the idea is very, very simple. Um, naturally, naturally, just to clarify, this is still a webinar for beginners. So just to clarify, when I'm buying, my intention is that gold will go higher from where it's at right now, supposedly here. Uh, watch, I, you see this line here, the way that I paste it is I clicked on the tiny arrow. This is all the way to the right, next to the buy, the buy and the sell. There is tiny arrow. I click it and I take it from the list. Okay, you see it? Click, take it from the list. And I can land it where I want. I can even define it. For instance, if I want a specific number, change it and then save. Um, my intention when I'm buying is that the asset will go higher from where it's at right now. Meaning that for every one ounce, one unit, if you may, then every dollar will worth a dollar. So now I'm buying 1965. It gets to 1968. I'm supposed to make three dollars. Okay. 
we're going to use two things, take profit and stop loss, to estimate what can be the potential outcome. Take profit is the price that the platform remembers. Okay, let's suppose here 1965. So we're going to put here 1965. Okay. Oh, sorry, that, that's the price that, that we are on right now. And we said $3 up. I really hope that it's going to show it to us. Yes, okay. 1968, right? Almost $3, if, I'm be, if I'll be precise, right? So that's $3. So for every ounce, every unit that I'm buying, every dollar going up, means a dollar for instance if it goes up uh let's say ten dollars 75 so i'm gonna make 10 and so on okay uh same idea if it goes against me if i'm buying and god forbid gold is going down for every dollar okay i'm gonna lose a dollar Okay, so for instance, from 64, if it gets to 54, how much will I lose? See, $10. Okay. Now let's carry on with Ava Protect. Um, the way that it works is it's covering you for a certain time frame. I choose two days. You can pick whatever you want. Like we saw, there are smaller time frames. And if during that time it gets to the price, uh, let's say even $20, let's take it down another $10. Okay, so I potentially can lose 20. And if it goes up another, let's also expand that by to 20. Okay, and let's change it to something a little more interesting. Let's make it also 20. I don't know, 20. Sure, let's keep it this way. So in this outcome, what can happen is if it gets to that price, 70.85 is here, right? This is what I'm changing, by the way. Those are the time frames of what we're looking at. When I'm done explaining about Aver Protect, I'm gonna dig deeper to the chart and I will explain the meaning of candlesticks. But now we just need to understand that I'm changing the time frames. So I'm changing from uh, hours to days, okay? We just need to know that. Later on, we'll explain what it means. So our goals are 1985 and a 19, 40, I think it was 45, never mind. Okay, so if if it gets, God forbid, to here, okay, during two days, uh, which it's been there two days ago, so whatever I'm potentially losing here, what is, you see, almost $400. Again, this is the same, what I've explained, $20 multiply $20 difference. I will potentially lose $400. Okay, that's important to remember that using EverProtect does cost a fee, which is shown here. And this is a fee that I'm gonna pay anyway. So even if I'm making profits, if I'm making the profits, I'm, I, I'm paying the fee. And if I, have, I, I had uh, losses, I'm paying the fee, but I'm getting my losses back. Meaning, we have scenario with the profit, and we have a scenario with a, with, with a loss. Okay. And that's going to look very much, just a second, like that. So in this scenario, approximately $420. Fee stays the same both cases. Okay, that's a fee. Like we said, that we are going to pay anyway. 
And in this case, the beauty about Everprotect is that I'll have it back, okay? So, as you can see, sorry, that's also a minus. Yeah, so in this case, in this case, I am left with approximately 200 and something, um, right? Value-wise, and in this scenario, I'm getting back the 382 dollars that I have lost. That's gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how it works. Do we have any questions regarding Everprotect? Oh, I know that somebody's going to ask what can we use Everprotect with, so I'm going to say in advance, currencies, silver or gold. Currencies, uh, meaning Forex, gold and silver, what Everprotect uh, is applicable with. Any other questions? All right, no questions, so we can carry on. All is clear. Okay, all is clear. It's it's good. All right, so we're going to go to the second part. Uh, we're going to go to the second part. Let's clean the board here. Okay, just to clean the board, I click again on the arrow, and then I click clear uh, drawing, okay? Right, so all of that is less relevant. First, we must find ourselves an asset that it's worth looking at. Can you please show the clear board again? Yes, clear board is located at the toolbar extreme right. Okay, click here on the arrow, then I have clear drawing. That's at the bottom of the exactly. Okay, so like I said, we must find ourselves an asset that's worth looking at. This is palladium. It's part of the metals that we have. I'm going to show again how I got to here. Uh, there are two, basically there are two ways to open the chart that I want. Manually through the categories. So as you saw, Forex, indices, cryptos, uh, commodities, and then I go down to are the draw lines you used also called support and resistance lines? That depends where I place it, but yes. Yes, thank you for the question. Um, support and resistance, I'll explain about it in a, in a moment. First, let's finish the guide through for the, for the uh, newbies. Uh, okay, so we have uh, palladium, great. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna click it from the list, no problem. If I click sell or buy, then I have this nice field here and I can uh, place it on my uh, favorites, right? If I click here on the star, then I can uh, take it from my favorites. It's gonna appear on my own list, but right now it's less uh, necessary. What is the charges for gold trade? The charges for gold for trade. Um, is it commission free? Look, we don't have any commissions on the platforms. The only commissions that we are naturally uh, paying, question coming from uh, NISA, okay, is spreads and swaps. But first, first, let's Let's, you know what, let, let, let me just on a nutshell, just on a nutshell, uh, I'll answer that question and then I'll have a guide through regarding the platform. Once again, clicking on the arrows to make it a little wider. Um, okay, so the commissions for all of the assets, by the way, not just, the, not just the gold. Okay, the question here is what charges for the gold? And I'm explaining that those are commissions that we are paying on all of the assets. So spread, is the difference between the bid and the ask. Okay, which means price for a new phone is $1,000. Let's say not gold, but something else. Okay, at, this is factory price. Okay, price for a new phone is $1,000. Plus 
spread could be, I don't know, $5. Then you have the retail price, retail price. So that means if I'll have 10 phones from the factory, it's going to cost 10,000. If I'll have 10 phones from the, from the retail, it costs 10,000 plus 50, right? So that means that this is my spread, right? This is my spread. So that means that when I open a position, if it's sell or buy, if it's, if it's sell or buy, so I'm going to begin with a minus. Which minus? The minus of my spread. And the more units I'll take, so the minus will multiply. Now, the, 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 swap, the swap is swap meaning overnight fee. Okay, and that means, let's suppose I take, uh, I don't want to explain about the value now, but let's just understand that the value here is 14,000. Okay, and let's say that my, uh, my uh, swap on that is 0 0.0005. Let's just do that together, just once. Okay. 14,000 apply one, two, three. Okay, so I will pay seven. Uh, I will I will pay less than a cent a day. I'll pay less than a cent a day. Okay, so for 10 days, I'll pay seven cents. Okay, that's per day so 10 days equals per day okay is that clear nisa you asked about the commissions is that clear okay what is pip Guys, I, I love the questions, but let me <laughs> finish with the guy through, then I'll I'll address all of that. Uh, there is a question here. Uh, Roxanne, your question is in a foreign language, which I wish I knew, but maybe you can use Google Translate or something for me to understand. That just, I, I don't even know what language is that? Um, okay, let's let's carry on with with ease. Uh, there is a question here. What is pip? You know what? Because it's so simple. Because it's so simple, I will explain. Pip is percentage in point. Meaning, that's the fourth digit after the decimal and the fifth and the fifth is micro pip that's it sorry i tried to ask you by voice i don't think that we can do that in the webinar just if you can use google translate that would be great Try Google Translate. Okay, so this is a pip. All right, let's carry on with the guide through. Let's begin with the guide through. So we have here, we're going from left to right. Okay, we're going from left to right. Um, I, I promise, I promise to 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 answer, but not now. In in a few uh, minutes. Okay, so we have the search bar, which we we already know. We have the time frames. So we said that every candle here is is a um, every candle here is the time that it's showing. So that means one day. Now it's going to be one week. Now how can I know that the candles are indeed what I that I'm looking? So how can I know that I'm looking at the right thing? Maybe I'm analyzing something else. So 
I don't have any numbers on the candles until I change the crosshair right in the middle of the toolbar. So if I go to the right, I have the candlesticks, I can change to the line, right? And if I keep going to the right, I have the uh, the crosshair here, and I can change to the crosshair, then it's gonna showing me, it's gonna uh, show me the numbers. Yeah, that's, that's the default one. That's the default, it lets you click and drag, but it doesn't show anything. So if I click it and I change it, then I see what's happening on the chart. And then I can see that uh, left upper corner, I can see that the days are in difference of seven days every candle. So this is last week, the 29th, this is the 22nd, this is the 15th, this is the 8th, and so on. This is the first. So if I'll change it to days, right? Every day is a, right? This is yesterday, this is two days ago, three days ago, right? A week ago, and so on. Same apply for hours. Actually, we're not going to do that now. We don't have time. I keep going to the right. I can change the layout, maybe something else. I'm looking at two ace, uh, assets simultaneously. Um, indicators, right? It's as clear as the sun. Maybe uh, to add them, I can either search, then click and drag, or I can click it twice quickly like that and then it's gonna uh, put himself here then I click save and it, it changes it uh, it applies okay same same idea as in here with the clear drawing so if I want to get rid of the indicators let's suppose I, I have some more right let's suppose I, I don't recommend to use too many by the way Sometimes it's uh, making a mess more than than helping, but they said in the beginning, everybody can do what they want. So this is how it's with everything. If I decide to get rid of everything at once, I just click here, delete all, and save. Um, okay, that's, that's the guide through, guys. That's how the platform, there are many more things. Oh, there is actually one more thing I would like to show this. Uh, it's been added recently. You see that lightning uh, icon. If I click it, it's going to show to this uh, on the side. It's going to show some analysis. It's going to show some technical analysis. At the end of the webinar, maybe in approximately 10 or 15 minutes, I will explain how analysis works. I just want to introduce you to the idea that those are uh, signals provided by Trading Central. Right, and those signals are actually instructions how to analyze the chart technically. Okay, all right. Um, and as you can see, that's only on certain assets, not all of the assets. Okay, uh, let's carry on. Let's actually begin. Okay, so we choose Palladium. Palladium looks interesting. It seems like we have some kind of break-even area. Then we have a nice candles going down. Okay, all of us are here to make money. But at the end of the day, the most mandatory thing for me before I'm taking a position is to aim for a certain price. Who knows why we need a goal? Why, as a beginner, even even as an advanced client uh, trader, why must I have a goal? Why can't I just look how how easy that thing is? I click here buy, right? This is a green candle. This thing here is it green? So I click here buy. Green means going up, and then uh, red means going down. So I see here a green candle. Is that enough for me to take a buy? What do you think? Green candle means I can take a buy. No, okay. Why isn't that good enough for me to take the buy? What can happen if I take the buy based on that analysis, simple analysis? What can happen then? Exactly, that it will go down. Right, so what I need to do is I need to have some goal that I'm aiming for 
And then if indeed palladium is going up and I'm making profits, I know I've reached my goal, I can close the trade. If I have a goal and I haven't reached what I'm looking for and I see that the asset has turned around, I know I need to close the trade. Without any number, I don't know when to close the trade. Maybe I'll find out in the future, but it's good to have a goal, right? So our goal is going to be $1,000. Okay, the next ingredient that we are going to have is you position need to confirm by another green candle. Could be, could be, that's, could be. You. What you're stating here is you need, uh, that I need a pattern. I can just rely on a single candle. I need a pattern. That's also uh, important. Uh, to, to have but that's not the point that I'm explaining the point is that with goal you know how to maneuver without the goal you don't know when to close the trade that's just how things are okay so why do I also need the time okay if I don't know what kind of time frame I'm aiming for to make this thousand dollars maybe I'll I need a, a year to make this thousand dollars that means that it's worth my time? Not sure, right? Not sure. If I can make it in a day, great. If I can make it in a week, some people, also great. What if I, I need a month to make it or maybe even a few months to make it? So I need, I need that it will worth a while. Let's say that it's just a week, right? Let's go ambitious. Uh, the, the third thing, the third ingredient that we are going to have is movements. Movements or price difference. Why do I need to know that? Because of the same reason that I've explained in the beginning, right? For instance, I believe that this is a buy. This is the palladium. I believe it has potential to go up for some reason, right? How much up? We don't know that. So maybe it will go up to here, right? Another $5 and then it will go back to where it's been. So if I'll take a buy, God forbid, I'll end up having a big loss. So I need proportion. If it's going up, how much can it go up? If it's going down, how much can it go down? I need boundaries. Now, what comes in mind, uh, who asked me about support and resistance? Never mind, there's so many questions. Um, right, right. So, Irene, you asked about support and resistance. So, watch. When I look at the chart, I have two. Let, let's imagine that this is a this is a room, right? This whole chart is a room. I just don't remember. Ah, oh, there we go. You see, this is this is a room. Okay, let's suppose. And in my room, I have ceilings and I have a, I have the floor. So this is the floor. We're gonna place that line here. This is a give or take, this is the ceiling. Okay, this is, let's place one here. Another one here, another one here. And you will see in a moment, people are gonna start asking me, hey, Danny, why you put so many lines? Okay, so those, okay, those are levels of resistance. Resistance is always the highest point on the chart, but it's not individual, right? As you saw in the signal, it just opened the signal. You remember that I showed you on the signal that it's uh, giving key ingredients for certain levels. So if the chart gets to here, 1384, if it goes beyond that, that means that it broke the support. Uh, wait, Danny, but the support is here. Yes, but it's also here. So there are different levels. Now, if I'm looking at the chart this way and I'm trying to capture what was our goal during one week and I'm trying to capture um, the how much palladium can move in a week, what do you think that is the most relevant time frame to analyze? Write down my goal is to find out how much palladium can possibly move in a week. What should I analyze? Hours, right? 
What do you think? Days, weeks? What should I analyze? Maybe minutes? What do you think about minutes? Should I analyze minutes if I'm trying to find out how much palladium should, uh, sh uh, can move in a week? Maybe minutes? Weeks, okay. Okay, I should analyze weeks. Why Why would you think that I should analyze weeks? Okay, months, people. What do you? Th why do you think that I should analyze weeks? Because weeks can indicate how much it moved, right? So I can simply choose here weeks, right? And then I can analyze the candle from last week, right? And then, how do I do that? Okay, I put the date, right? And I put the open, then the close. I like to leave a blank row underneath, this way I can put the results. Uh, and then we have high and low, right? Another blank row, and we're gonna put down the result. So that will be open minus close, uh, I minus low, and the result. Okay, just a second. Okay. We have the open 14.13, close is, uh, just a second, close is 14.19, high is 14.30, and low, 3051. Okay, now we're just gonna subtract and it's written here. We're gonna minus them 1413, 1419, so that's six. And we have um, 1430 minus 1351. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's actually. Does it make sense? Who can tell me how the how it's possible that there are such big differences? This one came out six. This one came out seventy nine. So what should we rely on? What should we rely on? This is six dollars. How much it moved? Six dollars or seventy nine? Seventy nine. Okay. Okay. Sharp. People here, very nice. I'm impressed. So, I, so how do you explain that it moved six? Also, what, what's the six? Let's look at the candle. This is this candle. This is six. This area here. The body of the candle is the open and the close. Okay. Even though you see this candle is facing down, how is that possible that it's green? That's because the open and the close determine if the close is higher than the the open candle is green. If the open if the uh, close is lower than the open candle is red. It doesn't matter that it fluctuated beyond uh, beyond the the uh, the support line, right? This is it's already heading to the second one. As you can see here, the support is. 1362 right what did we say we say that the support is underneath no it doesn't doesn't let me do that never mind so the idea is that the high and the low represents all of the laugh that means that through what prices it fluctuated across and the six is just because it closed nearly the same price that it started so this week, 29th, let's dig in. 29th is here, right? Look how nice. Think till here. 
look how nice you see that the, it, it went down and then it closed almost the same price this is why it's green right almost okay so uh, very nice now how do we determine so what figure should we aim for six or 79 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take sec uh, we're gonna take 6 79 85 this is just my own personal uh, exercise you don't have to that's exactly why I'm saying it okay so Sifu and Dile you're asking if you should write it this way I can say that this mm, way that I'm doing it manually you can do it with an indicator you don't have, you don't even have to put it down but I like to see things in my own eyes I like I like them lined up in the way that they make sense it's not mandatory not mandatory not at all let's say um, $40 $40 is what I, uh, I'm aiming for do you think that it can move $40 in a week or not palladium yes it can very nice I like your optimism <laughs> so now the missing ingredient to conclude this uh, the composition here is to determine how many how much palladium should I buy or sell so if I think that it's going up for some reason let's suppose that I believe that it's going up okay we can say that you know what let's go with it down let's go forty dollars down is where here let's suppose that I I believe that it's gonna go down okay is an example um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my goal so we have two kinds of equation we have the summary divided by movements equals units and we have movements multiply units equals summary so in this case so in this case thousand divided by 40 how much is that who knows right I have a basic question mm -hmm. okay but I will explain I will explain I, I just don't have a lot of time this is why I'm uh, I'm catching up okay let's just do this quickly and then I can answer your questions so sorry but thousand divided by 40 25 okay so in theory in theory remember take profit and stop loss or prices that the platform remembers and it cl it's closing it this one it closed it with the profit that one is close it closing it with a loss so forty dollars up from 1409 that's just 49 let's make it 50 okay just a lovely round number uh and vice versa 1370 what did i do did we go for a buy you know what let's keep it a buy it doesn't really matter doesn't really matter we're just explaining okay so that means that if i'll put here 25 i should see a thousand okay works like a charm okay works like a charm you notice what i did anybody everybody everybody understood what I did here with the exercise when I divided the summary by the by the movements is that clear all right all right Shakif you, you don't understand what, what what if you can elaborate what you don't understand I'd really appreciate it how I got to that I be look let, let's do it together this is our summary okay so I take a thousand then what I do I divide it by the right by the movements right price difference that means that between the that, that's the difference between where I'm at right now to where I'm aiming for what is the difference 40 right of course I can divide it by that it doesn't matter it's gonna work the same thing look oops 
yeah it's gonna give me the same um it doesn't matter the variation i'm using just in this part i had the movement so i i needed the units but if it would have been otherwise i could use it the the other way around um okay so we're gonna carry on right now this position is pretty much uh, composed and the missing part here is budget and risk money management right so budget wise we need to know that we can acquire the position how much this position cost 1400 right multiply how many units 25 that's 35,000 oh Danny you're so fast how did you calculate it because it's written here in the value right no need to be a genius okay 14 10 multiply 25 there you go now this is a platform that provides those are C of these right C of these contract for difference meaning leveraged okay so we're going to take the value whatever value is 35,000 and we're going to divide that by the leverage leverage is multiplier it lets you buy or sell more units with the same balance so one to ten so my value can be divided by that uh, figure so naturally naturally just a second that's the margin impact or require margin requirement so 35,000 divided by uh, 10 makes it 3510 right what it's written here so what is the actual figure that i need guys that one or this one three thousand five hundred okay very nice very nice do we have any questions just till this point any questions about the previous part or about this part or anything that was wasn't fully understood any questions of course of course i'm carrying uh, that's that's what i was about to explain to next risk money management of course so we're gonna uh, we're gonna explain about risk money management guys the outcome potential outcome as for now is that we can potentially lose just a second gotta be precise on that one what was it 70 so that means 69 right so as you can see potentially losing a thousand dollars out of 10 now 10,000 minus 1,000 means I am 99,000 uh, left in other words 10% exposure to a loss what do you think 10 percent is a good number or should i go for five or two what do you think 10 percent in a single position is that is that a good exposure or is that uh, too high or too low it's too high okay if it's too high for the people who wrote that it's too high i would like you to uh <laughs> offer what what is not too high okay two percent i see the first two percent two and a half that's also okay five okay so it's moving between two to five that's also fine now let's suppose that i do want to reduce from 10 to 5. what must i do to reduce from 10 to 5 just as an example right how can i turn my loss from 10 to 5 percent cut it by half 
how can I, I can't cut 25 by half. I can't take half an ounce. That's, it doesn't look, doesn't let you do that, right? No, but you are right, but you are right. Okay, so Charles offered that I'll take half a lot size, which is not doable, but I understood what he was trying to say here. If instead of 25, I'll go for 12, then my profit and loss will be reduced by half. Okay, I should remember that when I'm reducing the, uh, the, the load size, so it will impact both of my outcomes, potential profit and loss. Okay, guys, that's probably everything that we should have discussed in the second part. Now we have four, four minutes, yeah, four minutes for analysis. Uh, Ivan, you are also for 2%. Okay, we have another few minutes, guys, to play with analysis. Who knows what is analysis? How does it work? Is the most fascinating thing about trading. What is in the chart and what is not in the chart. Meaning analysis. I met I missed an and an asked. <laughs> so what is in the chart now? Guys, it's always, there is always question about what is more important, Danny, what should I focus? As analysis needs to go hand by hand. To dance, you must need, uh, actually you don't, you can dance alone, but it's no fun. You need analysis both sides, technical and fundamental. Meaning, if I'm looking at the Y picture, this is days, let's switch to weeks right so actually palladium maybe palladium is not as an example that i want to use Ooh, that's a very big candle right here and right there guys what do you think that caused that to happen that's the first of march what do you think that caused that that candle here or you know what let's me let me uh ring the most Fundamental asset that uh, we see, right? Let's change the cross here. So this is months. Let's change it, right? Who knows what happened on Friday? Who saw that the the market on Friday? Who remember what what happened uh, on Friday? Come on, guys. I'm sure that uh, not everybody here. Yes, thank you so much. Very nice. Who else besides NYSA knows what happened on uh, Friday? No, that happened long ago. The interest rate, It's it's been some time. On Friday, this Friday, previous Friday, was the non-farming payroll. Non-farming payroll means the new jobs added beside agriculture and farmers maybe farmers is agriculture never mind beside those uh, population all the new jobs applied and that shows the progress and the wealth of the economy uh, one of the indicators one of the indicators it's not the most important or so but um, okay what do you think that caused that uh, of course of course with the pleasure who needs to go? Go. Uh, thank you for for coming in today. And in a minute, we're gonna also. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that the way that this is not palladium, the way that uh, gold moved on Friday, it plunged down quite considerably, is because the NFP came positive, meaning it came higher than expected higher than previous as well if i remember correctly now when the dollar is strengthening when the nfp comes uh, positive that means that the economy is stronger right stronger because more jobs
It means that more jobs are applied, and if more jobs are applied to the economy, more people driving the economy, paying taxes, and so on, the dollar uh, responds to that positively. Um, and because of that, as you can see, gold is also responding. All right, guys, remember, this is not a formula. It can happen otherwise. Uh, it seems like our time is up for today, so I appreciate it to whoever uh, I came today. I hope I could help. I'm sorry that all of the questions that you wrote down, I couldn't reply, but you understand that time is on the essence. Uh, that's it. Best of luck, everyone. Uh, beginners, go ahead and uh, make a deposit. Start practicing. This is the only way you can get better uh, beside the webinars. And that's it. Best of luck, everybody. Make a lot of money and have a good day.